Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer once again back in Reading's town centre. Really looking forward to this one. Recently opened place just behind me, as you can see, blue collar corner, street food. Reading's newest permanent street food location. I'll try to get it out as first as possible. I'm trying to do things quick today because I've got work tonight, which is always good. So I'm going to come in here, review what they've got. Really positive reviews across the board though. Google giving it an average 4.8 out of 5. So I'm going to go in there, see what they got show you some of the location inside. I've actually met one of the staff in there, someone I used to work with, so uh, it's cool to film in there. Apparently lots of people do it. Open air eating as well, roof area, four different kind of vendors. So let's see what they got. If you do like this kind of stuff, everyone, of course, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified as to when we upload new videos. And with that being said, let's make a move. Actually had the life scared out of me just now the time over there that clock is broken though you probably noticed it the one by the court five past one apparently it's no it's 20 to 11 <laughs> come on Could I go for regular four wings, please? And I think that might just be, yeah, that might just be it, just the four wings. About 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah, that's no problem. Um, I'll be in the upstairs area if that's okay. Fantastic. Ah, lovely stuff, yeah, cheers. So, regular wings now, is it Yes, please, yeah. What sauce would you like on that? Oh, sauce. Uh, can I go for the hottest one that you got, if that's all right? Sure. Yeah, yeah positive, okay. yeah. That's the locker. Anything else, please? Uh, no, no, that's good, thank you. So I have to say guys, so far so good. Really, really unique experience. Um, I'm up here, as you can see, I've taken refuge on the roof area. There is apparently cover that you can use in the event of English weather, but right now it's not needed. Really nice up here and I'm happy to say I've, I've, I went around a few of the stalls and you saw what I ordered. I went for four chicken wings with the hottest sauce because why not? Service all across the board though, I'm gonna give it a five, easy. I um, told, told a few of them that I do a channel, can I do a bit of filming? The smiles, the faces, they were great, you know, oh yeah, yeah, you're more than welcome. And one of them, I have come literally at open time. The pizza place was like, I better make things look a little bit tidy. I was like, yeah, no, no, I understand, I understand, because I've got work tonight, so I'm here early. So I haven't ordered too much, but here's the breakdown of the stalls. You've got a pizza place, you've got a chicken wings place, you've got tacos, uh, and you've got bail buns, and uh, I believe there was rice noodles in there as well. So four stalls with one coming soon. Not sure what that's gonna be, but let's wait. I've been given a buzzer. When it goes off, I'm gonna be collecting my girt wings. So, I'm gonna need this. Loving it so far though. was 11.04, just checked on my bank app. 
and it is quarter past 11 now so it's only been 11 minutes we're still on the five time I'm just waiting for my buzzer and I'm gonna go as soon as this goes off so four minutes to go buzzers going off 11 17 five time five time stuff there's your buzzer back fantastic oh bless cheers thank you very much cheers well I hope that came through okay on the mic the guy in there really really lovely wishing me luck with the really, uh, I asked for the hottest sauce. Um, and he's like, well, good luck. If you need anything to cool it down, let me know. I'm the foul master. I'm the wanderer. I know what I'm doing. Those are famous last words. <laughs> Let's have a look and rate that presentation. So in my opinion, presentation, I mean, it's in a, in a box, but it looks like it's been presented really well. Everything, nothing looks mismatched. These things don't look like they're trying to pile on top of these. They were done with care. It's done in, a, um, obviously, like a little card case here. Um, I'm going to give it a four. Four on the presentation, because I was, when you go to street food, I was fully expecting to give it a three, not going to lie. But, it, no, it's done with a lot of love and care. The, the logos of the place, it's, you know, it's really well done. I'm delaying the inevitable, so let's go for the thing that looks the softest. Um, looks like some kind of potato, but let's have a look. Tastes like, tastes like potato. It tastes like, um, if I was to describe it, it tastes like a waffle. Not exactly sure what that is, but anyway, I think we're delaying the inevitable. Okay, for the the wing with the hottest sauce. Let's go straight in. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's really hot. <laughs> that's really hot, but it's manageable. It's manageable. Oh, hang on, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Let me, let me get my coat. Let me get my coat. <clears throat> Amazingly, the kick in there. It's not to the level of the, the fowl that I had in Maidenhead. Oh, oh, it might be. Actually, it's, it's coming back slowly. That's hotter than the Vindaloo at six bells, 100%. Whew. What have I got myself into here? I have to say, the first wing I had, it's really burning. I think I can manage it. I mean, Jesus, that's on par. These guys have taken the old Vindaloo, the old foul stuff, and just upped it to the max. But how many wings have I got? Oh yeah, I ordered four. That was the first one. <laughs> one down, three to go. Oh my word, I'm gonna get more of these. Things. I didn't catch their name. Of course, they're soaked in the sauce as well. Every bite now is just mental. You know something, guys? I actually am starting to believe that the fowl that I had in Maidenhead was weaker than those wings. I'm gonna have to ask the guy when I finish, what's that? What is that sauce? What is the Scovilles? I'm gonna ask him. That is, that is insane, but I can do it. nearly done it's actually bringing out the tears actually this one um, just to show 
Oh my word. Just to prove to you, one wing left. <coughs> and then I'm gonna find out what that source was. One wing left. Done. Oh. Let's ask him the question. Yeah. Just a quick one. I managed to finish it, yeah. but a quick question for you. What was the name of that sauce on Lockham? What was it on the Scovilles? Do you know? No idea. No idea. Bloody hot, though. Yeah, I can tell you that. Right. right, so before I get into my taste rating, I asked the guy the question about the uh, Scoville rating of the sauce. Now, the sauce name was Locker. I've tried to Google it, and all Google can say really is that it's blooming hot, which it was. Um, the guy didn't know the Scoville rating, but as I ate the second one, I realised that my tongue was feeling more pain than the, uh, the fowl. So I think it was hotter than the fowl, really was. Um, did it take away from the taste? Not really. The chicken and the, uh, oh my word, that is really hitting me hard. Uh, oh, I'll just get through this crowd. The chicken and the, uh, the, the taste of the chicken was really good. The tater tots, that's what they were, tater tots. They were nice, um, not really something I would order usually because I don't really like potato wedges. Um, no, not potato wedges, waffles, potato waffles. Not usually a fan of them, and they tasted just like them, in my opinion. Uh, but the chicken was really good, tasty. I think, uh, taste-wise, I'm gonna go, oh, let's see, wasn't a fan of the tater tots. I mean, they were all right. I think I'm gonna give the taste a three. I mean, it was good, and I wanna try more of their stalls, especially the uh, the bale bun one. Um, I wanna try that, but yeah, no, really good. And the atmosphere there, if you're gonna go there, it was the atmosphere that was really, really brilliant. So we had five time, five service, three taste, four presentation. I give that a 17 out of 20, divide that by two, 8.5 out of 10. That was blue collar corner street food. Hurts to talk, but no, it was really good. And um, I'll do it again, I'll do it again, no problem. So with that being said, as always, if you do like this kind of stuff, do be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, please. My tongue hurts. I'm the Wanderer. Until next time, guys, bye for now. So just a little post one, guys. If anyone does know the Scoville rating of that sauce, it is available to buy. I've seen it on Google, but I don't know the Scoville rating. Girt Wings Locker Sauce. Uh, if anyone knows, let me know because that is still stinging. It's all over my lips, all down my throat. I think that was hotter than the fowl. I, I actually think that was hotter than the fowl. And I'm not surprised because hot sauce does go extreme and I wasn't expecting that. But I finished it, I won. On to the next one. Oh my word.